Welcome, welcome everybody. Pursuit here, playing some RimWorld on Alpha 10. And our colony here on Utopia Fun Time Resort, which we've got something coming in now, so maybe we can call it, actually call it a resort now instead of just a little hobble or I don't know what you would call it. Um, we have been playing on Phoebe Base Builder Free Play. And let's just take a look at that real quick. If you look at the, the storyteller mode, it says that that is a sandbox-like environment. Threats appear, but they're extremely weak. Um, extremely weak means we haven't had anybody even try and attack us. We I don't think we've had animals try and attack us yet. Um, and we are into the... This is what going to be the like, eighth episode now, so... I'm going to bump it up just a little bit. I didn't realize how much they had scaled back when they recalled it free play versus whatever it was before. It was like, um, it was more that people were weaker, and now they've actually changed, I think, the kind of threats that appear. Everything, I think, generally, was everything was scaled down, but everything would appear, and it doesn't look like the events are appearing on the free play, and if they are, they're very insignific insignificant and far between. The only real fight we've had is one that we opened up for that ancient sleep thing. So let's change the base builder here. See if we get anything coming in because it's actually almost making it more difficult to survive because we don't have anything coming in, especially on this desert planet. So we're going to try it that way. See how it works. Uh, one thing I did find after I won off last time was this group of dromedaries here, which we will go ahead and let them be killed off and get us some resources in. Um, and I think we can probably just let the colony get running here. Um, I did notice that I managed to not include all the zones here on this thing. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. So, you know, there we go. A little bit more there, too. I think we've got lots of food coming in, though. Oh, it sounds like he's up there shooting somebody. Yep, he just brought back the dromedary. Good job. And the heat wave is gone, so this is cold enough in here now. Now, these people running in now, I think might break the heat a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. And it's cooler in here, so that looks like a good way to balance it, actually. I like that. During the daytime, I was wondering if it was going to get bad during the daytime, but... No, it's actually looking good. Okay. The instant we change it. What, it's been like a minute since I changed it. We need a raid. Yeah, that was probably keeping everybody back, and I'm kind of glad to see a raid coming in. Oh! Except that he jumped right in front of my face. Are you kidding me? What? No, no. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. Run, Raph. Raph's a fun, fast runner, so he'll get, he'll get away. We'll just line everybody up down here to help him out. Uh, where is everybody? Let's bring... Catherine... Down here, bring... Um, make sure these guys don't run away. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it. I'm pretty sure Raph has... They didn't manage to hit him, so... So we're good. Raph has the ability of the jogger, so he is just a little bit faster than this guy who's never going to catch him. Um, ooh, there's a spy chasing him. He's a prosophobe slowpoke. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely... No more free play. We need a little bit of stuff going on here. If we may if we're in a very friendly environment, we wouldn't need anything. But we're not. Um, whoa! Whoa! Slow down a little bit. Okay. Everybody, you guys all come up here. We need everybody waiting on this dude. Um, we're probably going to need to run Raph down. Like this, I think, because we don't want him getting shot by our people here. You go there, you go here, and you're going 
there, and where are you going? Something along the same lines. Why don't you go right here? Okay. The guy's coming, so start shooting people. That's what I thought. It doesn't look like he has any gear. So, you know, he wasn't that difficult. Uh, he got some awful pants on, apparently. Um, let's free everybody up here. Let's try that again for stripping him, and we'll get all the gear come brought in, and we're good. So I like that. Just a little bit of event going on there. Oh, we totally forgot Mindy. How many people do I have? Six. I've got six people here. So, yeah, that's fine. Timothy's busy there making some bricks. We got some going in. Failed to recruit. 29% chance. So, that's actually fairly decent, I would say. We got Mindy making meals. And so is Tiki there. We'll let them make all the meals that they can. Another failed recruit. Now, what's your guys' problem? Um, your moods are not that good, huh? But yours is okay. Why is Josh complaining so much? He's complaining because he has a bionic body part? What? He came to us with a bionic body part, and he doesn't want it. He has a bionic eye. Hmm. In general, he's a slowpoke and a prosophone. Well, do we have somebody who can use an eye more than him? I don't know. I don't know what to do about him. What, what can we do to make him feel better? He... Doesn't like he slept on the ground. He says it's hot. He doesn't like sharing a bedroom. Um, he ate off the ground. Okay, we can fix some of that. Let's see. Let's just let people keep running here, though. Let's give... Yeah, I keep on letting things running and nothing happens. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see, what can we make some stuff out of here? Wood is not something we have a lot of, but it's not something we have nothing of. Well, right now we have nothing of it. Yet we practically have nothing of it. Um, so we should be okay though. It's a renewable resource. Let's throw in a table down here. Structure, furniture, something. So let's see, let's put in a wood table right there. Throw. Let's also throw in a. Uh, throw in a wood bed. Like right here. Let's deconstruct that and put in a wood bed. Because if we give him a wood bed, maybe he'll like it better. And let's add some wooden stools. Um, there's three of them. We'll put in three stools. And they probably don't like being in the dark either. So let's give them some light. Oh, there it was. Um... How about we do it... Oh, it will let us put us in other places. I would prefer not to have it in the way. <laughs> How about right there? That way we can still get in and out. And let's just run some power cables down. We have to go around this because of the water. We'll just run it right 
through everything. There we go. Do your thing, people. What kind of pants did he have on? Awful cloth pants. Only worth 11. Yikes. Um, maybe we should put this for clothing. See if we can get some pants put in here. Um, apparel. Sure, we'll put it in there for now. Well, they probably don't even want to wear... I don't know. I don't have to think about it. Probably just need to sell it. Yeah, we probably do. Forget that. Because you're going to complain about being naked as much as you're going to complain about anything else. Little fox here, what's his... Yeah, he's a negative three for naked. So they'd rather be naked than they would have frayed clothing. Okay, let's build another grave right there. Gonna let them grab this metal here. Um, let's see if there's any other trees on the map that I can harvest. Oh, combat supplier. I forgot. I need to call them up. Where's Raph? Where you at, Raph? He's right there. Okay, when he gets back, he's gonna go eat. Let's, we'll let him eat. I'll have him call these people. What can you do for me? You can do... Nothing for me. I have some weapons, but I need them here pretty soon. You will sell me meds. I'll have to look at that in a minute. Um, I have one silver. I can't even buy anything. I don't have anything to trade with you. I've got a shoddy knife here, which is probably worth absolutely nothing to you. Oh, it's like three dollars here, so it's worth nothing really. Plastic knife and a survival rifle. I actually got some stuff in there. That's awesome. Okay, Mindy's going to work constructing. That's it, though, because we're trying to keep the food up. So as long as we're trying to keep the food up, we're not going to get other things built. And these guys are coming out to hang out with this guy up here. I don't know that that was my best option to put it like that, but it's what I did, and I'm not ready to remove this stuff yet either, so I could temporarily close that off. Um, I think I will. Because I don't want people hanging out up here. We're spending too much time running back and forth. I mean, yes, it's nice to go play with the centipede, but we get no real benefit from it. Um, so let's go ahead and... I've considered deconstructing these to sell the parts for them. Um, but I kind of like having the pods. Uh, we can't build them ourselves yet, so... I'm going to leave them for now. Let's just go close that off. Or we could... Let's deconstruct these and see if that makes a difference. Yes, I know. We're not going to go play up there anymore. It's sad. But what's sadder is the shape of our base right now. So I think I need to get rid of that. We don't need to see it anymore. Failed to recruit again. Um, I think I need to adjust, though. We've got crafting going on here. But I think the construction is more important. So, let's allow... Um, for the time being, anyways. Um, let's bump up. We can hauling and cleaning done is probably part of it. I'm gonna bump him up for the time being. I might change it later. Let's put this on a 
three, put this on a two, and we will get some construction getting done by Timothy here. Construction by Timothy. So, he's going to go deconstruct some stuff. That's good. I mean, he's the main person doing our crafting for our stone blocks. But as you can see, we could really benefit from having some actual stuff in here. Oh, look at this. Going in. Timothy's helping out there. New recruit. Successfully recruited Fox. Awesome. Okay, Fox. Let's see what you've got going on here. You are fast walker t toddler you're gonna go put some pants on which isn't gonna make you any happier but at least it's gonna protect you a little bit uh let's pull up gear you you don't have any gear so we'll have to give you a gun let's also look at you're not a firefighter because you are incapable of dumb labor or scary let's put you on nothing for doctoring because you're terrible patient sure flick sure a warden um you would be an okay warden. Better than some we've got and you've really got a passion for it. So sure, we'll let you do that. Um, cooking, no. Hunting, no. I will just put you on a four for both of those. Uh, four for that, because if you've got nothing to do, we'll let you do some of these things. Um, smithing, Ooh, you could be a good crafter. Okay. We just barely got rid of our other person that was doing crafting. I'm not really impressed with any of your abilities here, though. Um, put you on a three for that. Oh, research? Oh, wow. Yeah, you've... You're tied there with Catherine. We're going to get some research out of you, buddy. And art. Well, put you on a four for that. Because eventually it might have art, but we don't have any right now. You could maybe be a doctor someday. Not yet, though. The tiki here. And as for a weapon, you have a one for shooting level. So let's let you go grab that. And let's give you... This our revivalist rifle, I think, probably our best bet. You'll be a little more accurate with that than you will the LMG. The LMG has, yeah, pretty terrible for accuracy, so. So between Catherine and Fox here, we should get some good research done. Oh. Seriously playing pool with him? No, he's chatting. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, we're going to give one of these guys a better bed. Um, if this room ever gets completed. I think technically it's considered to be completed, isn't it? Because it's dark in there now. So let's put a bed in there. Furniture, a wood bed. Um, I'm going to put it right here for now. I think I'll put it in a large bed. I'll probably put it up above. So let's just start with a small... Well, how much is a large wooden bed? 100 versus 35. Well, let's just do them as we get them, I guess. Um, when somebody gets up here, we will... First person to get up in the morning... We will give their bed to pretty much a tie. We'll give it um, to Mindy. We'll give Mindy's. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, let's set this for Fox. And that means Mindy will get this one when she's done. Let's tell him to get up and maybe he'll go sleep in a bed. He's gonna go eat and then he's probably gonna go rest. 
Nope, he's not gonna go rest. Okay, we are actually getting some good construction in. I'm really surprised. Got the recruit again. That's okay. We got one person in already. That I'm really impressed with that. Okay, let's... Well, let's let him build the other bed, I guess. I don't want to give him too much to do. How much do we have there? We've only got... Oh, we don't have enough wood. That's why they're not... No, we got 882. We do have enough wood. Um... Oh, we got a new recruit, too. Well, we'll throw in some other wooden beds here. Uh, we, need, we need one more. Mindy, I want you... to build that. And I want Timothy to build this. And who did we get in? We got Josh. Hey there, Josh. He's gonna sleep on the floor now because we just recruited him and he doesn't have a bed anymore. Oh, I was gonna build him a bed right there. Never happened though. We are going to temporarily forget about that one. So let's look at you. You have clothing. Good. You are a slowpoke and a proslophobe, and you're gonna kind of complain forever about your bionic eye, aren't you? Oh, Josh. Josh, we're gonna give you the second bed here, um, cause you're gonna you're gonna whine about it too much for me to care. The other colonists are gonna be like, just give him the bed already. Um, so let's look at his overview. Um, he has oh, that's not what I wanted to click on. You misclicked it just a little bit, and this kicks you out. Um, he. Could be a doctor eventually. He's got a five there, but let's just leave it off for now. Uh, patient, sure. Flick, yes. Warden, oh, he's a good warden. Okay, we'll put him on wardening too. Got a bunch of good wardens. I like that. Um, not a hunter. Of course, what else are you good for? Maybe we will have you do hunting. Well, you could also do some researching. Art, we'll put you on a three for researching. You could, you know what? We are gonna make you our new hunter, I think. Because we've had Sir doing it. He's only a six. And you are a slowpoke. He is injured. Um, how fast do you move? That could be a problem. Let's look here again real quick. Your help. Movement weakened. Um. I'm going to have a fast hunter, because I have some ideas for things that are going to be a little bit precarious. Um, Raft, I think, a fast mover, and who's the other guy? We've, we've got Timothy in. I think Timothy is a... Is Timothy a jogger? Where is it? <sighs> Wrong thing. I don't want this. I want... There we go. Timothy is fine on everything, and he's also... Timothy's a slow... Everybody's a slowpoke. Fast... Fox is a fast, fast walker. What does that do for him? Yeah, not really that helpful, huh? Nobody that I want to be doing stuff can do it. So we're going to leave it the way it is then, I guess. Um, social. Oh, he's our new social. He's probably better than Raph is. Where's Raph? Yeah, he's actually better than Raph is. Okay. There's a benefit of you, buddy. And... You do have passion for medicine, so maybe we should let you be a doctor and you'll eventually get really good at it. Hopefully it doesn't kill anybody in the meantime. So yeah, let's go ahead and... He's not going to be good for much else, so... 
I guess we take advantage of what he's got available. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be a hunter. With him being a proselyte, that sounds like a bad idea. Okay. I guess we go with that. Um, he's just going to sleep on the floor on there. Why don't you guys finish these up? Mandy's going to finish that up. Um, which means we also need some more wood here. Orders. Chop wood. There's got to be wood along here we can chop. Yep, let's just get it all. Raph will run around chopping some wood. Or wherever else we can get to chop wood. Harvest anything else we can find. I don't see any agave though. That's what I was hoping for. And there's probably not any lizards around here to kill either. Next time I will deal with the mega scarabs. I have another idea for dealing with them. Um, but I'm not quite ready for it. And I don't think we're quite desperate enough for food anymore that we need to... No, we don't. Mindy, we need materials. Why did you guys do two beds halfway? Hmm, okay. Josh gets this bed. Yes, he gets the first nice bed. And I wanted to give another bed to Mindy, but it's not happening. Mandy's gonna go cook some food. Yes. We need a bed for Mindy also. Apparently they're not building in any particular order here. Oh, there you go! Is Raph cutting trees? Where is he? Oh, he's in talking with people. To doing now. Yes, he's gonna go cut some trees. Good job. Oh, good. This one is for Mindy. Hey, look at that. We're building some tables, too. So, it's looking pretty good here. We've got beds for everybody. Next recruit won't have a bed, but look at that. We actually have this done now. As soon as I get this table in, I think we'll try and throw some beds in and finish constructing that, but I need to be going now and nobody's buried a body. Okay, just gonna let him rot out there. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I think having the difficulty up just a little bit is probably gonna be beneficial to us. Um, let me know if you liked the video by giving me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me some comments as to what you thought. What I might do to improve also. And subscribe for future content. And I will see you in the next one. Now get on with your pursuit.